How's it going everybody? I know it's been a while since I put a video up. Um, we have a precious one and a half year old and if anybody has any kids they know that when you work outside and they're trying to take a nap if they hear the smallest little sound they're gonna wake up in a very bad mood. So um, for a while we I kind of went a little slower, slowed down on, uh, on working on things but uh, what this video is about today is going to be uh, restoring a 1952 Craftsman table saw. Um, it wasn't too long ago that I was in the market for a 10 inch table saw, something that's stationary. And I had a uh, cobalt job site saw, which worked great, but it didn't get the power to what I wanted. Uh, so I was definitely in the market for a two horsepower. Um, we're at my grandfather's one day and I'm explaining to him what I'm looking for and trying to get ideas of what he knows regarding table saws. and. He explained to me that he has one put away from me and he was just waiting for me to build my shop so I could put it somewhere. So as excited as I was, the next day me and my dad went down to his house, took my pickup and we loaded it up on the back of my truck. Now the saw was and is in great condition. Um, nothing wrong with it structure, structure wise. The uh, only things that it needed was basically cosmetic work. Um, it needed to be, all the rust needed to come off, it needed to be repainted, and I needed to add a couple, a wing to it, and a new fence system. The fence system on it was, um, basically this one right here, the original, and don't get me wrong, this thing was straight as can be. It locked down perfect, uh, I mean, it was right on, perfectly lined up with the blade. Um, the only issue I had with this was moving it left and right off the rails. So every time you got to move it, I mean, you had to give it a little push sometimes. Sometimes they had to lift it up. It was just a little too bumpy and not smooth enough for what I wanted. Um, I definitely didn't want to get frustrated during work uh, just because of the fence system. So I had to go with a uh, new fence system. So I went with the uh, Delta T-square, the T3. Um, purchased it uh, online for uh, I believe it was like about $219 um, and eventually I may upgrade on this saw to the uh, to the Beesmeyer but as far as right now goes this Delta is spot on so I'll run down a couple things I did here what it looked like before and why I made some changes so a couple of changes that I made to the saw so when I first picked this saw up uh, it didn't have a cast iron wing on the side. Um, my grandfather had, you know, a piece of plywood, and it was perfectly straight with this, but I definitely wanted, if I was gonna put some money into this, I definitely wanted to make it uh, cast iron, give it a give it a cast iron wing. Um, so this is actually from saw stop. So basically all I had to do was measure from the top to the bottom portion of this cast iron, and it came out to 27 inches. The lengthwise, I wasn't too concerned about. All I knew, I, all I needed to know was this length here. Um, and this is basically 27 inches by 12 inches. So I knew that was gonna be plenty of room. Uh, based on my shop size, I didn't want to have anything too far out this way that I wouldn't be able to really walk around this side. So, but I needed a little bit more than what it had and I definitely wanted to replace the wood that was on there. Uh, this is the original cast iron on this side. So after uh, taking off the original piece that was on there, um, my grandfather had two outlet boxes set up. One, one in the front and one on the back side. The one on the back side actually runs the motor and he had a, a toggle switch, um, like a light switch on that controlled the saw. And it, it, everything worked great. Um, it could have stayed on there, it would have been perfectly fine, uh, but just for a little bit more safety, just a safety feature, I wanted to add the uh, PowerTech uh, paddle switch. So that's what I purchased here. I think I bought this for about um, $11, $12 on Amazon. Um, and it's as easy as just pushing this in. It's not plugged in right now, but it's as easy as, easy as just pushing this in, and when you want to stop it, it's as easy as pushing that. So. I kept the same setup, but I did have to rewire. Um, I went to Lowe's and picked up a 14 gauge uh, cord here and went ahead and rewired 
what controls the outlet and passing the outlet into the, uh, the paddle switch and the paddle switch back into the outlet behind here and every time this paddle switch is on, it controls the outlet on the backside. So when this is plugged in, this outlet is running the entire time, but this is not what's controlling the table saw. This is just for additional outlets, just in case you need to plug something in right here. Um, however, this is passing through here, through this outlet, onto this paddle switch. This paddle switch is controlling the uh, outlet on the backside, and that's what's actually controlling the motor. Um, the motor is plugged into this back outlet here. I didn't want it plugged into the front side because it would run all the time. You have to have something that turns it on and turns it off. So we could have gotten away with this outlet here and we could have just straight wired it from this to this, to the paddle switch and the paddle switch to the outlet and on the back side of this, which controls the motor and you would have been perfectly fine. But this just gives you a couple more outlets in the front just in case you want them. As far as the uh, as far as the fence system goes, this uh, fence system obviously doesn't belong on the Craftsman table saw. It belongs on the Delta. However, it fit perfect. Um, there was only there were only like three holes I needed to make into the cast iron, uh, but the majority of them all fit uh, the rest of the way. So without too much adjustment, actually, and it was very easy to put up. To install it took probably about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. And that's me being quiet because the baby was asleep at night. Um, and uh, like I said, it's, it, it was nothing to put up and it runs extremely smooth. So the bolts that come with the packaging, obviously, I don't know if they go, all the bolts go to the original Delta, um, but I only used about a quarter of the bolts that were in there on um, the packaging. So I saved the rest just in case for something else. Um, but I just wanted to give you a heads up in case you decided to put a Delta T-square on your table saw that you are not going to be required all the bolts, um, just some of them. And uh, just find the ones that actually work for your saw. And it even locks in right over this outlet box. So this outlet box is not in the way in case you ever wondered, you know, is that thing gonna be in the way at all? No, it is not. Um, so the thing runs very, very smooth all the way down. Um, and it's exactly what I need. I don't need anything more than this as of right now. Um, if I ever decide on a bigger shop, uh, if I ever decide on moving somewhere else and, and having working out of a garage of some sort, then I may get a, a longer uh, table for my saw. Uh, but as far as right now goes, this is going to work out just great.